My daughter's having an outdoor wedding on Sunday. We just got notification that we have to change it all to inside. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm a little bit frazzled because it was on the way here, and it's like, oh, no, we have to, oh, okay, well, we'll change this and so. But it'll work out. So I told my daughter it'll be perfect no matter what. So. <laughs> anyway, so uh, today we're here to um, discuss, consider, and take possible action to approve the fiscal year 22-23 City of Sonoma Operating and Capital Improvement Budget and then we have three resolutions for the council to adopt. Um, so on May 4th and May 18th, in two special budget study sessions, the interim city manager presented, um, that's me, presented the proposed budget for fiscal year 22-23, uh, and this included all of the estimated revenues, uh, uh, recommended appropriations for operations and capital, recommended capital improvement uh, program, and a list of authorized positions. So the budget present, uh, presentations just provided an opportunity for um, staff um, and the council to hear a report from, or staff to um, present their uh, fiscal year 22-23 budgets, and then they also discuss their key accomplishments, priorities, and goals and challenges for the fiscal year 22-23. And then it also provided an opportunity for city council to ask questions, and also for the general pun, uh, public to provide input on the proposed budgets. So um, the operating capital budget, it's a policy document which sets the financial course for the city of Sonoma and defines the service priorities provided to the community. Um, the budget is just an annual spending plan. And what it can- you want? Is this two? I, I'm just one. talking. One. It's on page one. <laughs> it's a staff okay. report. <laughs> um, so it's just, uh, you know, it's a, it's a plan, and the, a budget is always, can be changed at any time. It just provides our best recommendations and forecasts for the fiscal year 22 23. Um, so, the document that you have, it contains all the necessary elements um, for the budget appropriations and adoption, but a, a, a budget book will be presented later at, uh, in the, at the August 17th meeting, and that will be the final budget document. Um, that you're used to, but this binder has all of the information that's pre been presented at the former two uh, study sessions. So the development, the budget development included a detailed analysis of the pandemic's actual input impacts on fiscal year 1920, fiscal year 2021, and fiscal year 21-22. And then we projected revenue and expenses for fiscal year 21-22 to see where we would end up and our projections for fiscal year 22-23. And we also updated the five-year forecast for the general fund to understand how the pandemic has affected the city's use of reserves and also what we're forecasting going forward. So you do have a, um, a revised uh, long-range plan in front of you, and that's it's on page 18, but it's um, we revised two numbers. Uh, sales tax actually got um, for 22 and 23 were actually reversed. And so um, that, this document corrects that. So. And so what, what happens is the, um, do I have that document? <laughs> so for 22-23, the surplus went down a little bit, and then for 23-24, it actually went up just because the numbers were reversed. Oh, okay, this is it. Huh? This is something different. Um, so, and then in the city manager message, that really contains a lot more doc, um, uh, detail on the fiscal year 22-23 budget development process. So, um, so that with the insert, uncertainty of the current economy and its impacts on our local revenues, the proposed 22-23 budget will be an active plan with proactive monitoring and review based on the um, on, on all the changing information that we get throughout the year. Um, and then with the 1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan Act, the ARPA funding, which is included in the budget, we have actually not programmed that, that money. So uh, in your long range plan, you'll see down at the bottom that it's actually been subtracted and we can actually see what the general fund revenue is without that um, uh, extra funding. So the proposed 22-23 budget for the City of Sonoma and the Sonoma Successor Agency 
includes a combined operating and capital um, improvement program budget of $38,626,000. And the proposed general fund budget is $23,629,000. And that's including all the transfers. Um, fiscal year 21-22, that should be 22-23. Revenues are projected to be $25,514,945. So again, it's important to remember that the pro proposed budget is a plan, and the City Council can modify and adapt the budget as we proceed through the fiscal year. And um, the 22-23 proposed budget also includes a five-year capital improvement plan, which was discussed at the May 18th me meeting. And um, again, this is a simplified document that you're approving tonight. It has all the necessary elements to adopt the budget. Uh, but again, we're preparing a final budget book that will, you know, contain all of the um, appropriations with a more comprehensive overview of city services and projects for the fiscal year, beginning on July 1. And it will also contain a revenue summary, expenditure summary, reserve summary, program budgets, um, etc. And that will be presented to council um, for review on August 17th at the council what meeting. You on that? I'm just still talking. Still talking. I'm still talking. Yeah. <laughs> um, so actually, um, I am really I I'm not going to go through it page by page unless the city council has specific questions on particular items in the budget. You're, are you asking us? <laughs> yeah. So I'm turning it back over to council for questions that you may have on the budget. So, Mr. Mayor, could I ask a question on sure. page two? Yes. One, two, three. Where is it? Mm. Page two of the staff report. Uh, I guess. Um, it was about, with several vacant, I don't know if we have the same thing, with several vacancies at the management level, organizational structures are being evaluated for optimum efficiencies and I think you've done that. Have you, have yes, you so that was part of um, bringing the assistant to the city manager okay. position and then again we're also looking with uh, um, right now we have a vacant um, administrative services director assistant city manager position which actually is in the budget but we're not filling it at this time and we're going to take a look at the organizational structure of the finance department to determine you know really what is the best structure. Maybe we need just a finance director instead of the administrative services director who was over HR and finance. Oh, I see. Yeah. But we're still sticking with assistant to the city manager. Yeah, that position is still I in. I feel like I can die now. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I can get off my knees. <laughs> Me too. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So questions from council? I have a question for general fund forecast summary. Yes. Just the most updated. Yes. This is. Mm -hmm. Year 2022 20, 23. Yes. Yes, that's the budget. That is the, we have the surplus, right? Yeah, we have the surplus. That is the. Four hundred and eighty-three thousand and fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. Is that a, I can assume this surplus could be applied to our reserve fund? It, it could. Um, it, one of the things that we're still talking mm. about, we're still in negotiations, mm. and this the proposed budget is uh, has a a three point five percent salary increase as a placeholder in it, but we have not completed negotiations. Okay. So three, um, okay. All right. Mm. Three percent. It's three point seven percent. It's already included in the budget. Oh, included. Three, the three and a half percent is okay. already included in the salaries and, and benefits total. Yeah. My apologies, Mister. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, no problem. I have another question about this forecast. Uh -huh. um, can you explain a little um, your thought process about the assumptions the that assumptions, went into this? Yes. Yeah. So um, the property tax, uh, sales tax, and the half cent sales tax are all that we get those forecasts from our um, HDL, who is our okay. expert on those. Mm -hmm. Transient occupancy tax is a little bit harder, mm -hmm. but we, we did uh, conservative growth of two and a half percent every year. 
Now, sales tax, um, they've predicted um, around a three to three and a half percent increase every year, but um, mm -hmm. based on, you know, just not knowing right. uh, transient occupancy, occupancy tax is hard to predict. Yeah. So we went conservative. And TOT so, comes that's oh, TOT. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. TOT comes late from the county. Is that the one? Uh, sales tax and uh, actually comes late. Oh, yeah, okay. They're about two months behind. Right. Um, okay. Transient occupancy tax, we're always a month behind mm -hmm. because, say, for May, um, TOT would not be due until the end of June. So. Mm. But that was the general question that the projections are generally on the conservative end of things moving yes. forward. Yes. And, and so they don't take into account potential new hotel rooms coming no. online or any of that. You know. No, yeah, because mm -hmm. it's potential and we have no idea. Right, exactly. Right. Thank you. And then the um, PERS liability is actually given to us by PERS. So they give us a five year forecast on that as well. Those kind of the revenue, I think, that we projected, that is, uh, it's kind of very, very, you know, close to reality, I, I believe, because we see trend here. But for those kind of expenses, uh, I wonder if this kind of the is very aggressive or uh, media or very uh, conservative. I would say that um, it, the, you mean for expenditures on the expenditure yes, side? Expenditure. So um, salaries and benefits, um, it's... I mean, because we're in negotiations, there, you know, we did a three and a half percent, percent, three and a half percent. There's, I mean, we, you know, we couldn't really tell until we're done with negotiations. Um, uh, fire and um, police contracts, uh, we have them growing at, is it three and a half percent every year? I think it's three and a half percent every year. So, um, and then um, the other ones, we grow at two percent only because we don't know um, how the economy goes. So. That's, that's pretty, we, we kind of base it on history, how it's grown, so. Mm -hmm. You mentioned about the police service increased by 4% or next fiscal year? Yes, next. 4%? Oh, no, uh, for next fiscal year, yeah. it's actually in the budget we talk about the percentage okay. increase, so. Um, when do the public safety contracts end and restart? They start with the or, fiscal year. Is it, but there, no, but aren't they like three oh, or five Oh, the salary, the um, oh, the um, right, MOUs. So like, Did you I just know do the it police the is like so three. We, yeah. we, have a, we have a tentative agreement right now mm -hmm. with the board of directors and uh, all of the employee groups for a four-year contract. Mm -hmm. So okay. that goes to our board on uh, June 15th. So assuming that that is, you know, approved by the full board, um, that'll be in place and so we'll have a contract for the next four years. Okay, great. And police and next year? Oh, I, you I, know, um, they did it I think they're up. I think they're up next year. Yeah, next, yeah, next year. Three years. It's next year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And they did, we did include the, um, the new deputy in there that um, the city will be actually paying the, the portion of that, the, the um, COPP deputy. Yes. Um, uh, Orlando did say that they're having trouble hiring right now, and so right. um, you know we've included a full year of that of that salary, but they haven't started the process yet. And you know he's saying realistically it could be six months before that position is filled. Is this the one he was talking about to share with Windsor? No, this is something no. totally different. No, um, no it's that, that community. A health um, you know the one that will just be yeah. involved in community. Oh, you okay. know, right? More, more to like all of the services that the. Um, in the city, so school, everything. So. We know we were, we have the schedule and a meeting with the school district superintendent. Yes. Yeah, like, yeah. that's great. Yeah. So we were to talk about school resource officer. Mm -hmm. If they agree, and the, do we have additional money for that one third? Or included or not included? It's I not included because I not yeah included. it would okay. so the way it was done before it was you know thirty three thirty three thirty three yes. so um, but that's not included in there but okay. again there is there is surplus so okay. you know so that we couldn't that a position I believe is two three hundred or three hundred thousand close to that yes yeah, close to yeah. that yes. Okay. 
So in the expenditures, other operating costs, mm -hmm. is that sort of just like a catch-all? And I noticed it goes down. I'm just curious what that consists of. So there's... Like for example, like when we give money to um, you know, our community service partners, et cetera, I assume mm -hmm. that's all in there. It's that's all in there for this year. There's, um, yeah. I'd have to open my computer to... Um, there's there's quite a few things that, we're, that are in the budget for this year that... Sorry. Like we have the city manager recruitment. We have... Yeah. Um, so there's there's a lot of contractual things that are happening this year that we're that going forward we're not going to have. So that's mm -hmm. the reason that it drops. Mm -hmm. City manager recruitment. Um, is there like is it in the binder somewhere? Because I guess, I mean, in general, like we go by, about it by department, but then every department obviously, right. you know, it's all sort of divvied up into these different categories. Right. Um, yeah, so it is, It is. yeah, and then it's all combined into this long Like operating, time, so. other operating costs right. take on projects from, I assume, every different department. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we have elections this year for 55,000, right? And we have, so there was a lot of things that were, that were in the budget this year. Yeah, this year it's seventy-five thousand. Yeah, um, there's a number of things that that you know aren't ongoing costs, so they're subtracted. And also, we hired a consultant for the uh, homelessness. Yeah, we actually put another thirty thousand. That is additional. Yeah, it's okay. in the budget this year for additional. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And labor negotiations. Oh, labor negotiations. Yeah, they sort of consultant. Okay. Is that sort of standard though? Every year we have special things, you know. Um, I would say that this year's special. <laughs> we have quite a few things. Um, we also this have a special year. Yeah, yes, <laughs> it's a special year. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, like the the election, um, the city manager recruitment, the negotiations, and um, uh, yeah, in the financial the, the audit. We have two years of the audit costs in this year. But going forward, we'll just have one year. Yeah. Okay. yeah, we had in the final upgrades to the permitting software in this year, but um, uh, that, that'll be done. Right, yes. I remember last, uh, two, uh, two weeks ago, we finished capital improvement project, but and we haven't to go through some of these small, com for example, community activities. Do you want to go through that again, or? It, it's up to you. <laughs> yeah, because you know, the, for example, if anything new, you, you know, this in a new, you know, this account, oh, a number, a page 60. Okay. There, there was no changes to community activities from what we originally no. presented? Okay. Okay. No, no, I mean, I think the one thing, the information that we did give you was the um, the cost of, you know, the subsidy for rent and right. things that we were yes. providing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, but there's there was no changes to that budget. Mm -hmm. Also, I saw that Field of the Dream, they requesting for $64,755, that is for improvement for the fear or complex. That is page 64. In section three. Sixty-four in section three. You're in section three, right? Uh, that is the yeah one two. Yeah, it's not a section. Oh, I'm sorry. That is uh, under account, under account community activities. Account number four three one zero one. 
Yeah. Oh, uh, it's requesting. They're requesting thirty-five thousand. Yes. And so okay. it's just thirty-five thousand. That has not been included in the budget yet because we okay. need to discuss what what the actual. What do they is. want to do? Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm sorry, what wasn't included in the budget? 35,000 35. for Field of Dreams, although it says that they requested it. We have not included it in the budget. Okay. Um, oh, because, I see. Right. Yeah, we need to discuss with them the exact changes that mm -hmm. they, yeah. So I guess when do we discuss all that? Like, I, I want to say at the last meeting we talked about allocating, or and there was like ARPA funding and there's going to be a surplus. Mm -hmm. When do we, do we discuss that at the retreat in That's August? what I'm thinking, yeah. yeah. So we have yeah. the 1.3 million, which really has not been program. programmed yeah. yet. And so and maybe that will we don't. Be a maybe we do. Yeah. So that's all in August. Yes. And so obviously yeah. the budget can be modified. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Always, right? Yeah. yeah. And that one point three million is, you know, there's there's quite a few things out there that we next month. A, yeah, that we uh, August. That's also my birthday. No, I said August. My birthday is yeah. in August. Which day? Seventeenth. Oh, oh so well, that birthday, was close. My birthday's on the 15th. I oh, never, yeah. 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 I never, I never <laughs> seem to get seven. out of the council meeting. Oh, you are? Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Too many Leos in the world. we got to be careful. Yeah. So can we in the go back uh, page 63? Yeah, section that is the community off. account. Say in this yes. in the back. Yeah, in the back. Yeah. The back. yeah. And the very yes. Yeah. The fund yeah. Yes. The four section. They get like the four. Yeah. Yeah. Back there. The yeah. Before the section. Back there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes, that is uh, second the law, uh, second the paragraph. Continue to participate. Sonoma Valley Homeless Facility Initiative project in partnership with the supervisor Boring. I think this project is gone already. Do they have the new money or? I believe that is the last fiscal year. They already. Right. They already um, going to close this project uh, because we tried to apply, but we missed the deadline last year, so that we didn't get it. Um, I, we will be participating in a um, in a partnership with the county to to look at homeless services. I I'm not I'm not sure what what you're talking about yeah headline. because here this uh, program is very specific that is so-called facility so the improvements or the added some the bathroom or <coughs> so buy some machine and then a washing machine or dryers i remember that okay, so last year we discussed right i think she put the wrong word in there um okay. it is it's a noma valley homeless initiative project she put facility in there yes no yeah, yeah yeah no and no yeah. this facility I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yes, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. I continue to be. Oh, I'm not. Six sixty-six. Oh, sixty-six. I continue yeah. to be confused about it. I mean, what, ha what, what's happened to us with the successor agency? Yeah. I know we have money that was, you know, successor agency. They were overseeing whatever properties. I think if you maybe you could just share a little bit of that with us. Okay. 
So, well, the successor agency is, you know, has been dissolved. Right. And so um, right now all we're funding is the, um, you know, we did the refinance of the bonds, the 2010-2011. So we have a 2021 bond and a 2015 bond. And so um, just what's, you know, we don't, we, we don't, we don't have, we're not getting any new funding. And um, so all we're doing is really continuing to pay off the debt from the, the redevelopment agency. And there's some funding we get. We get 250000 for administrative costs. Um, we actually upped it this year. Um, for some reason, they kept lowering it, but we... Have... So is that for your staff or the successor agency that does the... Work? It's for the staff time. It's for staff okay. administrative time. And, you know, preparing and doing all the, the work for the, the ROPs, so... Thank you. Um, at our retreat in August, I think it would be good to talk about how we fund our community activities and partners. And I know they've talked about that in the past, and it always sort of changes from time to time. But, um, you know, for example, like, do we get any sort of reports from, like, the Vintage House or Community Center about how they spend our money or what programs they fund? Or that, that is, I feel I mean, like they just sort of depend on our check every year, and we don't really hear anything about it. Right, and so that yeah. that is something that 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 is is stated in their contract. So from yeah. you know we're going to start um, you know doing more of that um, proactive work yeah. and get and finding out what the funds are being spent on, mm -hmm. and um, you know so that you know we, we and we we get a copy of their financials and those are all mm -hmm. the things that are that are in their agreements and we're just going to take a more proactive role on that. So yeah. I mean, obviously, I'm fine with it for now, but like moving forward, you know, um, I think it's. I would like to also know why we fund our nonprofits at different levels. Like, I'm sure there was a reason at one point, but right, you know, right. Yeah, we can discuss that at the at the retreat because there's one thing that yeah that we we kind of wanted. To, I mean, I do believe that we should be taking every time we give funding to some organization, we right. want to know what exactly it's going to be used for, and then at the end, you know, after they, they use the they funds, they, they give us, yeah, yeah. They, they give us a report on what the funding was used yeah, for. Yeah, don't they so. stand up at a council meeting and give a report? Um, they, they, they were supposed to, we don't, we haven't had, some of them do annual reports, mm -hmm. um, but we haven't really had that in the past couple of years, so. So who, who yeah. you, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. Who will you have to oversee that to make sure that they do? Lisa. Okay. You, TID group, they want to give us <laughs> annual report. Mm -hmm. You, uh, usually when? Um, I think the TID, I'm not really sure when that comes. I haven't had a, actually, did we do a report last year? I don't recall that, but, but that is something that, I mean. Last year we didn't. The TID? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I'm sure we can request that. We can do that yeah. soon, so. Last couple years of credit track and see what those things Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, the reason is, you know, the TOT tax increases a lot. And they in a percentage also proportionally. Mm -hmm. So that maybe uh, we can work together yeah. how to wisely use this additional money. Mm -hmm. I agree. I think actually the TID contract ends in two or three years, right? It's I think it goes through twenty twenty five or so. I'd have to look, but I, I think it's yeah, it's either yeah. 23, 24, or twenty three, twenty four, or twenty five. I mean, obviously, this is irrelevant for the budget we're going to pass today, hopefully. But moving forward, as we talk about the future, I do think that would be a good, maybe a retreat topic, just to talk about the future of the TID. Um, you know, in my view, we've talked about this before. We are limited on high on how high we can raise mm -hmm. the TOT mm -hmm. because of that sort of two percent. You know, at some point, we have to be competitive in the market. And, you know, from what I understand, it just goes back to the Visitors Bureau and obviously funds lights and other special projects, but we don't necessarily have any say over how it's spent. And I know a lot of it is spent on advertising. And um, moving forward, as we've discussed before, I think a better use of that funding could be instead of a TID, a, uh, like a plaza improvement district, for example, where, you know, a million dollars a year, maybe not just the plaza, mm -hmm. parks throughout the city, um, you know, reinvesting in the plaza, I think, is the best advertising for Sonoma there is to begin with. And then, obviously, 
is also great for our, our local residents as well. And so if we're going to make any major changes in that, I think we should probably start talking about that soon because yeah. um, I think we're only two or three years away from right. that. And I'll find out for sure when that contract ends. Yeah. Yeah. You know, and also other communities, including, I believe, Healdsburg, where you recently came from, um, the Chamber of Commerce and the Visitors Bureau is all one organization. And to the extent that there's sort of a duplication of efforts, maybe there is, maybe there's not, I don't know. But I, you know, as we move forward, obviously no drastic changes today or maybe even this year, but we should start thinking about how we have everything, I would say, set up structurally. Mm -hmm. I mean, we can't do anything regarding, I mean, the Chamber of Commerce is its own organization. It is, and I think the Visitors Bureau is as well, but right. to the extent and that we fund and them and can them. encourage yes. them to but we don't join fund forces. The I mean, the Chamber also has its own statewide organization mm -hmm. and all of that, you know, it's, whereas you know, the Visitors Bureau is... Yeah. We, we do fund the, the Chamber as our economic development arm, right, right, because right, we don't have economic development. And the Visitors Bureau. Right? And the Visitors mm -hmm. Bureau, yes. And just even moving forward, I would like to even just talk more about a visitor's bureau and what the function of that is today. You know, for example, a lot of, um, you know, 10, 20 years ago, you, when you visited a town, you sort of went to the visitor's bureau to get a map and mm. sort of learn about where you go, but now that's all in, on your phone. And so I know that they take up a significant portion of our city property within the plaza. And um, again, I like the visitor's bureau, it's something against the visitor's bureau. I just think moving forward, just to be more efficient and I think it's important to look at things. Every sure. Time. Yeah. 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 Um, so it, that that should be thirtieth, twenty twenty-five. Right. Okay. So it's so going to be here before we know it. Thank you. I appreciate you bringing those up yeah. because one of the yeah. things that I I have asked and other council possibly as well is that I think history and the arts should be part of what visitors bureau does and also chamber. Mm -hmm. And it's never part of what you know they're getting people to stay in hotels, which of course. Is what they're paid, what they are paid to do. But I think that there's a lot more to Sonoma uh, than drinking wine and going and having wonderful food. I mean, there's also a, a rich and full history here, and um, so I'm really, I'd like to have that added to the table as discussions with them to include the arts and uh, history. Yeah, I totally agree. Yeah, you and the council. So no, these nonprofit organization. I think they are using the different perspective, just like in the city's windows, history and art, and also the visit bureau. And so how they can co cooperate each other. For example, the, right now, we still don't have a one and a master and the website showing each you know, organization where you have this kind of event. A lot of event and uh, timely, they have that conflicts. Right. So, so we actually, um, I don't know if you were, had a chance to look at the um, new parks um, and rec um, website that was created in house. Um, Sarah did a fabulous job of doing that, but it has it has quite a bit of information in there about all of the um, um, the different organizations. And then, um, so if you type in events, then it it actually brings up all the organizations that have events, and you can go to their website. And so, it's kind of a, a master. We haven't had that before where we, you know, had a list of all the, the different providers and the organizations in the valley. So, um, yeah. That is good. That is an out of the city's uh, website. We have this. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. And it was just, she just, okay. yeah, she just um, rolled it out. Okay. Um, I think she sent you a copy of the rollout. And the, okay. uh, Sarah? Friday. Sarah yeah. did that. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yes. Because it's on our website. If you, if you type in Parks and Recreation National, it'll come up. So. In the last couple of the week, uh, last couple of months, I heard that out of the KSVY and SVTV, they purchase a website domain name that is so called and the Sonoma Events. They have the, they want to make an effort to you know the coordinate with the each other party and the see and maybe maybe later I want to ask the gym contact with you, right? You know Bob, you know we talked about that website, right? Correct, yes. Yes, yes, the Sonoma events or? Yeah, there's various ones. Yeah. Some Valley events. Mm -hmm. So then maybe we can do some, the rewrite each party 
Uh, it's not that we're right. You know, send it over, for example, send it to the city and we can update if anybody has the events for sure. You know, not a, There is a, there's, yeah, if you, <laughs> it's interesting, if you go to our website, there is quite a bit of information there yeah. contained on our website, but, you know, a lot of people don't take advantage of it, but it's, we have a pretty extensive website. Many in the same, oh, sorry, yeah, yeah go ahead. Yeah. No, you. Yeah, many in the people, they have the similar interest at the same day, they have the two events, oh, right. they, they want to go, but they cannot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, go ahead. Yes, because I'm going to a pollinator class tomorrow night, and oh. there's another event. I have to make that decision. <laughs> I'm going with the pollinator class. My husband will not. He's going to watch some stupid Warriors game. Or no. <laughs> NBA Finals. Okay, that's like that. Pretty serious. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have more questions, or if we do not, I want to open to public. I have one yeah. more question. Okay. Sure. Okay. Oh. Um, so we don't. The city doesn't have a lot of debt, correct? Like we have debt service, but no, we really... have we have one. Um, this one debt now. Uh, it's the PG&E, not PG&E. It's the uh, um, PG. &E. Yeah, PG&E is paid off. So no, it's for it was for lighting. Um, oh. Uh, was that the LED? No, don't use for the project. You know the one that's in the it's back here in the front. So it's forty. It's about forty nine thousand dollars a year. I can yeah, tell you that. So <laughs> that's it. <laughs> and then um, and then there is a, we have a a, a loan in the water fund too. So. Yeah. And so I guess my just general question is: Is that common for a city to have as little debt as we do? And is that like, for example, if we want to build a new park on the west side, if we want to do this, if we want to do that, we're always, you know, obviously we don't have a tremendous amount of mm -hmm. funds to do that, but obviously, yeah. you know, in the private sector, you would finance it. And with yeah. our sort of revenue stream, it would be easy to do that. Is that I, I would say that something other cities do? Is that something we should start thinking about? Or? Other cities do. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, they absolutely do. And this, I would say this city is the, has the lowest debt of any city I've worked in. Yeah. Right. And it's a Which way, sounds good, right. but at the same time, maybe yeah, we're not. Right. So you know. when you finance you know. something, I mean, sort of the philosophy is is that you're so that every year the people are paying, you know, who use the services over the life of the debt. Right. You know, so instead of paying for it all in one year, so say if you're using a park, so Correct. the services are, you know, parsed out over the life of the debt. So yeah. um, because that's how long it'll last. So. So it is low. It's very low. Yeah. yeah. I mean, just, you know, I, I think there's just a lot of things that our residents want and that we, you know, the city council has talked about recently, but obviously a lot of that costs money. Yeah. And, you know, if we have, we start putting in the capital improvement program, I mean, right. it takes years to accumulate funds. And you know, I'm just wondering if there's any other ways to sort of finance things. To sort and, of, and grants. There's, yeah. there's a lot yeah. of grants. And with rate rates, for, is, I mean, yeah. they're not as low as they were. Yeah, but yeah, but yeah they, they were. So yeah, so financing is, is a way to do that. And, yeah. Um, there's a lot of And is that done through grants. like bonds or is, uh -huh. does that bonds. require votes or, you know, from the people? Like I, some of these questions are just general questions yeah. about municipal yeah. so finance. So a bond would don't know. require a vote. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. So, I, I, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. I just want to mention something else yeah. for the general, for everybody. You know, this huge crowd that's here. But <laughs> uh, I just I'm wanted sorry. to mention that nonprofits do work that we could never afford to do. I even heard that many, many years ago from a council member. It's good and bad, but it's, a, you know, it generates, it does so many wonderful things. And of course, our city provides services for people, children, in the valley. And that's not really our responsibility, but we feel that we should be responsible for that. So I think those are some of the things that we should probably highlight, that we do those things, mm -hmm. and um, and that we could never do what they do with our... With right, our... and I think that, um, I think how we do uh, sort of parks and recreation here is brilliant, because a parks and recs department never makes money 
it's it's extremely you know time consuming. You have all of your part time people that come in for the summer and then they're gone, and you know it's just it's a really time consuming you know labor intensive. Um, and so what we do is we use our nonprofits to to mm -hmm. provide those services, and it's 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 really worked well for the city, and it's mm -hmm. really kind of a brilliant way to do it. So. And nonprofits, of course, are wonderful, but the issue for nonprofits is they do good work. And they just want to concentrate on what they do. They don't want to do the icky stuff, like accounting, marketing, and social outreach. They don't want to do those things because it's sort of like icky. But it's it should the I think the commitment should be to run it like a business, like a business. Right. And, and I would say that most of our nonprofits that, probably do. Um, you know, I don't think that yeah, we've I been really. Right. I don't think we've been. You know that. Like I said, proactive in getting the kind of reports that we should. And I, you know what? And yeah, you know, possibly what you're saying, but it's interesting that foundations are really supposed to be doing that work to train nonprofits how to do grant writing, how to do all. So we really lack those services here in, in the county. I mean, they had the volunteer center, and they did a quasi something like that. But it would be nice if we could. Uh, if the nonprofits could take a stand and say, you know what, we need a research library, and I think that Hannah does have one, and they did often offer it, but I don't know, you know, if any, if any, not us, we don't have to do that work, but that I think presidents, the nonprofit presidents, and then the board members, I think they meet, and they should actually ask Hannah if we can use your research center to research grants and oh. We have somebody here who has experience at hand. Yes. I don't know, but I know that they do have a, a library, and I don't know if it's, you know, it's up to date. But where I came from in San Mateo County, the foundation invited everybody. They would have classes, okay. all of those things, and it's a shame. So maybe that I'm not. It's not our responsibility, but it's certainly something that we can think about. Mm -hmm. okay. Yes. Yeah. Education. Yeah. It's, it's, it's kind of important. For example, on the local lottery, you know, the young people actually, they haven't recognized they do have the potential to buy the house or they never thought about that, you know, lack of the education. So you know, when we, we do have the you know, affordable housing trust the fund, but the most important is you know, rather than you know, realize you know, how much they can you know, afford, you know, that is the, yes. Just related to your education, training, mm -hmm. research, and you know, provided this kind of a tool for them. Any more questions? If, um, if no question, let me know, open to the public. Steve, do you have questions? <laughs> <laughs> Chief, uh, both of you, you can talk. And also, Bob, you can say something. <laughs> <laughs> just want to say a good job by Sue. She did a good job this year. Last minute came in and did a home run with it. Yeah. Yes, that is right. Yeah, I agree. And yours too. Yours and really done yes. a lot of heavy lifting on this budget. Yeah. So she's done a fabulous job. I don't have to be on my knees anymore and ask for an assistant to the city manager. <laughs> I, and they're all though. They're not even bruised anymore. Thank you, thank you, Sue. Such a great decision. Yeah. Also, we appreciate you send the people deliver the sabanda to yes. us. Yeah, yeah, we special. That's delivery. nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, you know, this is a budget. Yeah. If the, anything that change, financial change, or if the, what do we need a change, and we we can make amendment. Right. Right. Uh, and yeah, we will, we will be discussing yeah. other things at the, the retreat so that we can. Yeah. To be honest, these kind of stuff for us, yeah, it's a little bit overwhelming. It's a little bit overwhelming. They're good. So when I uh, read this, I bring the last year's. I make it a comparison, and in this way, I I can get them in you know, a little bit mm -hmm. more you know idea. So now I have another uh, idea. Is you know right now our income has been increased. So the again you know when we have the retreat. Time, you know, we need a thinking how to increase our in the reserve fund. How we can put more money in the reserve fund and how we can use and the money to improve our current service. How to the balance. Yeah, that is important. 
Uh -huh. So I think it's for three months expenditures. Is that what it, the is that the normal or some places have fifty percent reserves? So it's two months. Two months. Two months. Okay. Right now, two months. Yeah. yeah. Or two months. Yeah. Fifty percent reserves is extremely high, mm -hmm. and really that would just you know then you're not you could provide services yeah. for that amount. So. Hopefully, when we receive the one point three million dollars from America Rescue, the fund, and then uh, we can get enough money, increase our reserve from the two month to three month. That is the I believe that's one, one, one million something. Do you anticipate that we'll be programming the surplus in August? What kind of number do you think we'll be programming? Well, I would definitely be programming. I think you should be programming the ARPA funding. That's a one-time funding, and definitely. So it's you know you want to think mm -hmm. about one-time projects probably that you want to that you want to fund. The surplus that again, we're we're still thinking we're still in negotiations. So. So okay. So then, with the ARPA funding, are you? Do you anticipate us programming all of it, or a portion of it goes to reserve? I mean, obviously that's that, up to us. To but what? Yeah. Well, I know that. But what would your <laughs> recommendation? Um, is that something we should talk about in August? Or? I, yeah, I mean, I you know, we could talk about it in August. I think we have, um, for the size of our budget, I think we have a, a, a good reserve. Um, mm -hmm. And you have to remember that during the pandemic, it was, uh, we, we did use some reserves. Um, that was unprecedented. We didn't, mm -hmm. you know, who would have thought that something like that could occur? But um, so, and that's what we used our, our uh, funding for, but we were able to replenish it. So. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. So that again, it's you know what percentage do you want to fund at? We you know we, we use the GASB guidelines on how much you should should put aside in reserves, and so you know there's they don't they don't tell you a specific percentage or dollar amount, but they give you a range. So and we're within the range. And we would be okay even if we didn't receive any ARPA funding. We would. If that program didn't even exist, yes. our reserves would have yes. sustained us. Yeah. yeah. I have another question that is a big question. How about on an unfunded and a pension liability? What kind of percentage right now? From well, you can our see agenda? we have it. We have it, and our really our unfunded liability is is really low for the um, you know compared to other cities. Um, okay. And it's, because our employee former employees. Yeah, I mean we have we have our um, we have four groups of the unfunded liability. We have our miscellaneous group. We have our, um, they call it the um, pepper group, which is the new, you know, they have a lower percentage of. And then we have our um, closed programs, which are the police and fire, which were former employees mm -hmm. that, um, you know, it's closed, meaning that nobody else will enter it, but it's still, we have an unfunded liability for this. Mm -hmm. And when did Pepper start? I know I was here, but 2013, I, I think. Yeah. 12. 12, 12. Yeah. 12. yeah, okay. Yeah, and eventually, eventually, um, we'll be at this. It won't be all pepper, but yes. you know, you have to get rid of all the old people first. Excuse me. Speaking of cemeteries, I'm speaking myself, right? <laughs> it's a good cemetery segue. Yeah. <laughs> well, I know. You know, actuarials. They never talk about the people dying and people die right. in this whole plan, and right. they never discuss that. I think they're just mad. Everybody keep you know everybody's right. we're living longer, unfortunately, but or fortunately. Right. Fortunately, <laughs> I'm enjoying it. Thank you. Thank you all. I guess now when I well, let me see. When I look at this, some of the things, as I said before, we fund outside of the city of Sonoma. And I had a discussion with someone from the Catalyst Fund. They said, well, you know, we don't really, the city doesn't really, I said, you need to look at this. And maybe someone from the Catalyst Fund should know what we actually do put out for services that don't, they're not in our city. And I think it's really, it's important, you know, that we brag a little more. Right, right. And I think that the one thing that we did with this budget was to bring forward some of the hidden costs that we were spending for our, you know, for some of our nonprofits, like, you know, um, water, uh, <laughs> rent, <laughs> some of those things that we, you know, that they're not, they're somewhat intrinsic, but that we do provide that as well. well. So it's not just actual dollars, but, but um, the intrinsic costs that, that we're providing.
So the resolution start on page 21 if we want to get to that. Page 21. So we have three, three resolutions. We separated them this year, so um, I don't know if you have any questions on the resolution. Oh, David Storr. <laughs> Speaking of resolutions. <laughs> I did it. Okay. Yeah, you're fine. Page 21. Page 21. In the first section. And this resolution is for asking for approval or approval just of this reference? Is, yeah, this is for the, this is, if you approve it, this, um, you would approve the resolutions. And um, the first resolution is for the entire city budget, including okay. CIP. And then, um, uh, no, we, we split them out this year. I'm sorry. We took, um, this is just. Subject change. Yeah. 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 And, no, well, it could change, but yeah, yeah it's all, it could always change. But at this present time, this is the budget. Yeah. So. This is this. Okay. This question is just about the resolution itself. Why do we call out the public art fund? And and then we make a statement in addition funding for aging infrastructure and major long term capital projects is deficient. Right. So what happens? There's a legal reason we have to say that. Or? Yes, because mm -hmm. there is a um, there's actually an ordinance um, about the public arts fund and it was passed in 2009. 2009, mm -hmm. and um, shortly thereafter, the, we lost redevelopment. So um, it was 25,000 or 1% of um, project valuation costs of public development projects. Um, so it's that's one of the things that I want to discuss. That I would like to change that ordinance. Mm -hmm. You know, either we decide on a you know like a smaller funding amount every year, mm -hmm. so we don't have to waive it. Right. Um, and really, I think we need to talk about the cultural art, arts program and the entire. You know, what are what are we funding? Mm -hmm. um, it's it was uh, it was done. It must have been done. I'm not sure if we were flush or whatever, but um, <laughs> um, but it was it was before redevelopment was yeah. resolved. And this so, has to do. You have to do this with another ordinance. We would have to change the current ordinance, but the current ordinance says that you will fund this every single year. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why so we, we waive have it. To waive so it. we waive yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Based on the valuation of public projects. Yeah. That the city does not yeah. just projects in the city, but well, our projects. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then we have to make a statement that we our funding for infrastructure is deficient. Well, I mean, truly, I mean, if we if we you know, thought about all the infrastructure that we have to fund. It is we, we are yeah. deficient, so mm -hmm. um, that's we're just saying that that's okay. the reason that we're one of the reasons that we're um, yeah, it's a justification for not funding. Okay. Right now, we are working on a five years budget, and I'm I'm wondering. Do we have any, you know, 10 years and a 20 years capital improvement projects? You know, we really want to do all build some of the building, the office, and the, and letting the, you know, the civic hall as becomes a museum or something like that. If anybody, you know, previous Yeah. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think that, you know, I think a five-year capital improvement plan is pretty, um, you know, because after that, it's kind of like a, a long-range plan. After, yeah, even even after three yeah, years, you're, exactly. it's really a guess. And yeah, so, guess. you know, I mean, there's many projects that the city would like to fund, but I think that a five-year capital improvement plan gives you that, you know, it's a, a pretty good plan to, to get funding within those five years. So, and to talk about it. It's pretty standard. And also for the projects to be completed, so. If we wanted to add, following up on what Madeline said earlier about history, you know, I, I wanted to start funding the Historical Society and the League for Historic Preservation, like we do all of our other sort of community yeah. partners. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, you are a community yes. partner. 
Um, is that something? If we could magnify what they do, it, mm -hmm. I yeah. think it would really be more. Yeah. It would become more attractive mm -hmm. to visitors. Yeah, Thank no, you. I agree. And, and there may be more, you know. But yeah, is right. that something we do now, or do we do that in August? Let's do that in August because okay. again, the, I, yeah. I had sort of thought that that would be incorporated into the cultural arts plan. And so, I mean, mm -hmm. that's something. So, so, so if we start funding that, mm -hmm. I mean, it could be part of that because I see it more as cultural and arts rather than. A community partner who, like our community partners, really provide, like they're mostly recreation providers mm -hmm. or those mm -hmm. those things. So, so, but I could see that as part of that plan that we fund them, you know, based on that plan, and that we could put that into the yeah. budget at that time. So, um, yeah, it's something we could talk about. But we could even modify it if we came to the conclusion they are a community partner. Yeah, yeah, and you can always -year. modify that. The yeah. the um the that um. Program. I mean, it was set up and it was based on, you know, the years of service and the years that, I mean, those have been funded for a long, long time and they go back way, way back. So no. um, the funding for those particular partners, but we can certainly add to them. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, it used to be that we had the tier one and tier two and tier three and then they no voted on who it was. And so yeah. this was kind of a better way to do it, but we can certainly add to that. There's no reason you can't do yeah. it. Uh -huh. So in, is, because I know that there are some of the... I won't bring up the women's club because we do our own fundraising, but some are in need of infrastructure improvements and just does that do we get involved? Does this get involved with that? No, it's just funding their operation or funding some of their initiatives. Is that what the infrastructure like for their buildings? And yeah. Stuff? Um, here and there, I mean, right? there is some like we in the, the we, we do have some like for yeah. depot parks and museums and mm -hmm. such. We do have that in the that's in yeah. our CIP program. So. Mm -hmm. Um, for this year, so yeah. I think it's I'm, an air condition that is the city. Oh, okay. Yes. So, and I'm also thinking about the cottage, Masanavi house. Mm -hmm. But then there's a cottage. It's you know I don't even know. Behind it, yeah. yeah. What is that? What they call it? In cottage, yes. right? Yeah, cottage. Yeah, that's yeah. that is a beautiful. They preserve the land behind it. Yeah, that, um, that's been boarded up. Yeah, somebody used to up. live in that though. Yeah, somebody yeah, did live. Yeah, Chavoy. Is that his name? Yeah, that was Willie. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> but I think if we're going to yeah. get involved in history, that certainly is a big, big part. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about, but it's a pretty big eyesore. And I think the Sunrise Brewery, we're going to get involved with it for a while, but then they probably thought, I can't do this, it's a lot. And it is it is a attractive nuisance because I think over the yeah. years we've sort of... Yeah. It, it's oh. okay. Someone actually wanted to do a, like a coffee shop there, like for Depot Park and oh, like all the bocce oh, oh, and everything. That would be nice. Yeah. Yeah. That sounds good to me. So dis I'm on page 21, the dissolution of redevelopment 2012, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because I, it's interesting, the city of Sonoma, their last redevelopment agency money, which I always talk about, was to the community center. It was $2.5 million to do all the retrofitting mm -hmm. um, and so many things that they needed. So it was 2.5 million. I think that was the last of the money yeah. that, did, that went there. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was a huge loss. Huge loss for every you know municipality, but yeah, it was a huge loss here. So. And it slipped right under the wire. <laughs> it did. Nobody <laughs> came after us. <clears throat> it was.
we need to uh, make some data changes because not ending up this number not match it with the out resolution. Okay. The page one? number oh, right. twenty one. That uh, thirty-eight thousand six hundred eleven dollars. That is yeah. We miss. I look at that is. You are you are a good accountant. Over here. Yeah. So the schedule is correct. So the, the, the document needs to be changed. So we can put it like that. So the resolution. Yeah. See, the, 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 the exhibit's correct. Um, mm -hmm. The dollar amount in the resolution um, needs to be changed. So, um, so Rebecca said we can improve it with the corrections. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So it should be yeah, That is the difference yeah. is one hundred yeah. thousand yeah. something. Yeah. You should never do the final budget at one thirty at night. Yes. <laughs> oh, of course, yeah, that is <laughs> always you know, <laughs> these kind of numbers. She's not lying. Yeah. Anything. <laughs> So the um, the total operating budget should be thirty eight million seven hundred nineteen nine hundred twenty two thousand. Right? Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> CIP is correct. And then the final one, the final resolu or resolution is just um, um, adopting the authorized position for the year. That's page 24. <clears throat> The authorized position. The authorized 26 position. 26 and 27. Oh, okay. And then the CIP is. I have a question about the um, staffing, mm -hmm. and forgive me if we've already discussed this, but I'm just noticing this now. Are we deciding to move on from the senior planner role? It's not in here. We haven't discussed that yet. Because I just know, or at least it, it's still it's still in here. We have, did we? But zero, and we're doing two for associate planners, zero yes, for yes. senior. 
Yeah, and that, that's that's a future discussion. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So not now. Not now. Okay. <laughs> Okay, you are ready, huh? Um, Bob, do you have any? <laughs> maybe we can. If not, maybe we can put in a motion. Do you have any in the final conclusion or summary or overall? No, I just yeah. again I want to thank, thank staff. You. Thank, um, you, did, yeah. thank you, Abby. Thank you, everyone. Not yeah. easy. You know, yeah, this is, all, all like the every yeah. all the management team, Liz, everybody, and thank you too for all your patience and for going through all the meetings with us. And, <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. You want to put to the motion to oh, approve? Sure. Yeah. But there are three, right? Okay. Yeah, there's 20, yeah. 22, 24. Yeah, and the staff report kind of um, does a summary. If you want to just. Or you can do the resolutions, look at them separately, however you want to do it. Yeah. Um, how about if I do um, uh, adopting 22 27 five year capital improvement? So okay. I'd like we, to. Sorry, we need to do them in order. Oh. Okay. So on the staff report, um, staff it does. Report. Um, it's a number issue. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Number one. So on page one. Yes. So if you just yes. do them in order, yes. That's, that's, that's yes. Yes. Okay, this, or is this that? Yeah, this one. Okay. All right, one, a resolution of the city of city of, of the city, council of the city of Sonoma and the successor agency of the former Sonoma County Community Development a Agency adopting the fiscal year 2023 city of Sonoma operating budget, waiving the annual allocation to the public art fund for for this, we're going to get them, for the <laughs> fiscal year 2023. Is that the yeah, That is right. Yeah. 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 Yes. Okay. Approving community fund programming and heritage and community event fee waivers. If gatherings are allowed to continue per public health orders, <laughs> the authorizing and authorizing the interim city manager of her desic or her designee to ex execute task um, Task orders for city engineering services within the CIP consultants. With the with the um, CIP correction and with the correction that was noted by and with Mayor. any amendments. Is yeah. that what you're yeah. saying? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the first one. Yes. Okay. So the, I did the motion. I'll second, second it. Well, Bob seconded. Good. Roll call, please. Councilmember Felder. Yes. Vice Mayor Barnett. Aye. Councilmember Agramonti? Aye. Councilmember Lowe? Aye. Mayor Dean? Aye. Thank you. The motion carries unanimously. Okay. So you want to continue? Or? Well, let's get to rolling, I yeah. guess. Okay. Uh, a resolution of the City Council of the City of Sonoma adopting the 2027 five year capital improvement program and authorizing capital project funds appropriated and unspent in fiscal year 21 22 to be rolled into. The fiscal year 22-23. That's my motion. Good. The second. Well, second. Oh, second. Yeah. yeah. Uh, roll call, please. Councilmember Felder. Yes. Councilmember Barnett. Aye. Councilmember Agramonti. Aye. Councilmember Lowe. Aye. Mayor Agramonti. Or, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I looked. <don't laughs> sorry, Mayor Dean. Aye. Apologies. That's good. Thank you. It's unanimous. And the third one, resolution of the City Council of the City of Sonoma establishing the list of authorized positions. Second. Roll call, please. Councilmember Felder. Yes. Vice Mayor Barnett. Aye. Councilmember Agramonti. Aye. Councilmember Lowe. Aye. Mayor Dean. Aye. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you again. Thank yeah. you. Thank you yeah, for lot. hard working. Yeah. I'm now. <laughs> and also, thank you for public. Thank you for Chief Lee's and Steve okay. participation in court. And David, oh, yeah. David, right? David, yeah, you, yeah, you, you, maybe you can give us conclusion. And, yeah. and, and Wayne for, and Jenny for being here as well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are we adjourned? Are we adjourned? Are we adjourned?
Yeah. yeah. Oh, and Joanne. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Okay. So what? What's next? Closed session at four. At four. Closed at four. Oh, at four. At four. Oh, wow. Okay. It's in the closed session. Okay, that's fine. Okay. I mean, that's fine. Oh, maybe we can start. One, two. It can't start. Yeah. No. Yeah. Because on a schedule, a notice. Yeah. Notice. 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 Notice.